Hello there everyone and welcome, my name is Captendo and today I'm going to be going over the VR chat PC and Quest compatibility and what it means. So the reason why you will want to understand the difference between PC and Quest is when you're looking for things like VR chat worlds or VR chat avatars. Now this is mainly if you're going to be watching videos on VR chat and you want to know how to get to worlds or how to get to avatars, this is why you'll want to know. So before we get started, if you haven't already, if you are looking for VR chat avatars or you're looking for some cool worlds, be sure to head over to my channel page and once you are at my channel page, scroll down near the bottom and you will see multiple organized avatar playlists. So in these playlists, there will be things like video game avatars, this will be sorted alphabetically, anime avatars also sorted alphabetically, and then I have a miscellaneous playlist as well, which has things like quest avatars, flying avatars, light source avatars, giant avatars, just it, it's miscellaneous. <laughs> so if you haven't already, head to the channel page, scroll down to the bottom, and that should help you find a lot of different avatars. So when it comes to PC Quest compatibility here in VR chat, what I see a lot of people think is they think Quest means VR and PC means keyboard and mouse. That is absolutely 100% wrong. It is incorrect. So when you see the PC or Quest, it is not asking you if you are in VR or not. It is instead asking you which platform or which version of the game are you playing. So if you're running the PC version of VRChat, that means you're either running VRChat either through Steam VR on a computer or the Oculus software on the computer. You're running the game off of a PC. The Quest version only exists because the quest was the thing that came out a couple years after vr chat released and they wanted to make the game quest compatible so they released a like a quest specific part of the game and then just made it like cross platform so if you see the quest compatibility that means are you running the quest version of the game now the differences between these two versions of the game is to simplify i would like to say that there is regular vr and then there's Quest VR. And when it comes to the Quest, it's practically diet VR, <laughs> if I had to say it. So you're not going to be able to access everything that the PC VR can just because the Quest headset itself is not powerful enough to compete with a computer. It's a, it, it was a $300 headset. Now they you know ramped it up to $400, but it's still pretty much the same headset. It's not going to be able to compete with like an $800 or $1,000 computer. It's just not. So the PC version is mainly going to be more like resource demanding. And then the Quest is going to be more optimized in general. If this also helps you understand that there's a, a difference between PC and Quest, kind of think of it like a Pokemon game. How there are two separate versions of Pokemon games where in one version you can catch Pokemon that you can't catch in another version. So in VR chat in one version, there are worlds that you can go to and avatars that you can see that you can't go to or you can't see in another version. Now as for the different types of compatibility that you will see either in worlds or on avatars, there will be three, because <laughs> I, I can't put up three fingers, there will be three different types of compatibility. The first is going to be PC only compatibility, meaning that if you are not playing the PC version of the game, you cannot access the world and you cannot see the avatars. Then there is the opposite end, which is the quest only compatibility, which means if you are not playing the quest version and you are trying to play on the PC version, you will not be able to see those worlds or those avatars. Then we have the middle section, which is going to be PC quest compatible, meaning that these worlds and these avatars are accessible on either version of the game that you are playing. It does not matter if you're playing the PC version or the Quest version, you can still view and access those worlds and avatars. So that's pretty much just a simplified, quick summary of PC Quest compatibility. Just take whichever version of the game that you're running, match it up with the compatibility the world shows. Actually, for example, if you look right above where my finger is pointing, that world behind me, what is that? Steel and gold. That's the, <laughs> that's the world. <laughs> it 
you can see right above that portal to that world, it says that that world is both PC and Quest compatible. So that means that regardless of whatever platform you are on, whether you are on PC or you are on the Quest version, you will still be able to enter and access that world. The next part of this video I would like to go over is how to watch my VR chat avatar videos. So the first thing I usually do in my videos is I usually introduce myself. I'll say like, hello, my name's Captendo. Hi, how's it going? Whatever. The second part of the video is going over which avatar I'm going to be showing in that video, or if there's multiple avatars, which ones I'm going to be showing. The third part of the videos that I show is the world information page. So this has the compatibility, the world name, the world creator name. That's what all this has. And it's going to look like this. So I usually always go and show the PC Quest compatibility. So you can see that right now we're in the VR chat home and it says that this is a PC Quest compatible world. Sometimes in some worlds it will be a PC only world or it will just be a PC Quest world. You're never really gonna see me do a Quest only one because I just play the PC version. And by the way, I'm using a Quest 2 headset right now. I just have it directly connected with a cable to my computer because honestly, the PC version, that is the actual version of VRChat. The, the Quest version of VRChat is just pretty much what has the restrictions. I wanna play the full version of the game, so I'm just gonna play the full version of VRChat, which is the PC version. So after I go over the compatibility, I go over the world name, which it says right here, VR Chat Home. And then we have this little button here that says buy VR Chat, kind of moves whenever I hover over it. That buy VR Chat, normally this is where it will say like another world creator name, like Vegeta Fan 428 or something, whatever, I don't know. What this button does is if you click on it, it will take you to that user's profile. The reason why you would want to I guess ever use this is if for some reason the name of the world changes now this is not oh I can't find the world so the world just doesn't exist I know a lot of people they do that in the videos but that's just because they didn't follow the information but if on the slight chance that the world name itself has actually changed therefore you can't search the world name you can always go here to the user profile and then scroll down. And then you'll see this little section that says uploaded worlds. This will show the worlds that the world creator has made. Now again, like I said, if you ever can't find the world, make sure that you aren't doing anything wrong. So if you aren't paying attention to the information of the video, then that's why you aren't finding the world. It's not automatically because the world doesn't exist and it's not your fault. 99% of the time, if you can't find the world, it is a user error. The other 1% might mean that either the world actually did change its name or that the world itself no longer exists. So that is going to wrap it up with the world information page. There is also another piece of information that is the avatars in the world and the avatars compatibility. Because sometimes avatars can have different compatibility than what the world has. So what we're going to do is go over the next step after I show the world information and that is going into the world and finding the avatars. So what I always end up doing is I always end up going down here and just hitting respawn. What this will do is this will always spawn me at the spawn that every player spawns in in the world. And then from here I show you guys where to go to get to the avatars. So for this example what we'll do is we'll head straight over here towards the mirror and to the right of the mirror is going to be these default avatars. Now like I said earlier you got to pay attention to the avatars compatibility. You can see that all of these different avatar pedestals have a compatibility on the top right and they all say PC and Quest compatible. So let's say if I were making a video to show off this worm avatar, you would also have to pay attention in the video to make sure that the avatar itself is compatible with the platform you are playing on. What I am going to do though is I'm going to pick this little computer guy up here. And then here we reach the final point of the avatar videos which is showcasing the avatar and what it can do. 
So usually what I'll do is I'll show things like I'll show different hand gestures because sometimes hand gestures give different facial expressions or they do actual effects like maybe sometimes you use it to like fire a gun or shoot like lasers or maybe turn invisible or something. You'll just have to see what the avatars do in the video. And then the other thing I will do is I will show the expressions wheel. So I wanted to get around to making an updated video seeing as the world information page has changed since the last video and there's been some changes to VRChat. That and the fact that my last video was like two years old. <laughs> so I just wanted to make an updated compatibility video since there's always going to be new people here in VRChat. Now the final thing I would like to say before going off is when it comes to the VRChat videos, I don't make the videos to just show every VRChat avatar that exists in VRChat. I am only showing avatars that I find that I like and that I find interesting. That's pretty much all the avatars I'm going to show, so I hope you also find them enjoyable. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone!